This week's project is going to be making cabinet doors that match our current cabinets to go over the two TV holes that are in our motorhome. The problem is this is 15 or 16 year old cherry, 17 year old cherry now, and aged wood has a nut much darker, richer tone than new wood, as you can see from my crib for Hudson. But I have heard that you can prematurely age cherry if you wash it in a lye solution. Okay, this is the cabinet door that I'm trying to match, both in color and shape. And believe it or not, these router bits were thrown in as a freebie when I bought my table saw. Before I start on that, I've got a couple of samples of the cherry I'm gonna use. Lye is actually kind of hard to come by, but I found this at Lowe's, which says 100% lye. Uh, and actually Drano is mostly lye, but it also contains aluminum and some dyes. Just like a flat spoon, I guess. Okay. Supposedly, you let this sit for an hour and then you can wipe it off with a vinegar solution. These bits are very dangerous, so I have a lot of research tonight to do on those, but I just wanted to show you this lie. Is that ridiculous? And then here's the cherry finish. It's just a much browner. So yeah, I'll be doing a drain cleaner on my pieces of cherry from now on. Plot twist. The Drano version of my samples got a lot more red overnight and so did the commercial cherry stain, but it actually kind of kept its brown hue. So I think the commercial matches a little bit better. You can see here in the light that the lye kind of turned a redder, a deep red, and this kind of went a reddish brown. So it's not a bad thing, but well, I dropped them. Okay, here's the real deal. Let's see how it goes. Damn. Guess that's why these bits are $200, huh? That's amazing. All right, I've got my panels glued up and sanded and I think they look pretty darn good for a first try if I do say so myself. Uh, the last thing I have to do is this little cove. Did we get lucky or what? Look at that. Perfect. All right, on to stain and finish. I'm a little concerned for some reason these are just not turning dark like this one did. This is the exact same stain, exact same time dried and everything, and it's just... Okay, I've got my third coat of polyurethane drying. I've always found I get the best finish when I wet sand uh, with six or 800 grit before my finish coat. I couldn't get you know professional finishes for a long time until I discovered wet sanding. I don't know if it's what most people do, but it gives me the finish I'm looking for, that really soft, soft feeling when you put your hand over it. And voila. Turned out pretty darn good. Got that very satisfying RV door clicking noise. Finish turned out really smooth. Actually, a pretty darn good match for uh, what was here existing. It feels really, really good. Looks really, really good. It doesn't stand out. I'm very happy. See you next week, guys. Bye. This week's Patreon only video is me messing around and fixing up a hydraulic stage trailer. That was a fun little project and it's not over yet. So if you want to see that, head on over to Patreon. Dollar a month gets you access to that. Success. It's actually a pretty impressive little piece of uh, kit there.